This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com in review. What I'm looking at today is the 16th episode of Love, Death, and Robots, titled Ice Age. And this is animated in a way that I wish Lucky 13 were animated, which is essentially you have, it opens, I should mention that Ice Age opens with a scene where a man is entering an apartment building. You can't actually tell if that's CGI. It might have been, in fact, I'm not entirely sure. The lighting was done in such a way that it looks CGI. But as the episode unfolds, it's revealed to be live action, which is nice. And as I said, this is the way Lucky 13 should have been treated. In any case, Ice Age revolves around a couple. Topher Grace is the, is the male. I don't recall the female actress's name. In any case, there's a refrigerator in their apartment, and they're going to get rid of it. But they open it, and they see there's a civilization in the refrigerator, icebox. So the, the time scale for the civilization in the icebox is significantly faster. Years literally happen in seconds. Every time they open the icebox, they watch this civilization grow and build and expand. It's a fascinating episode. Again, it's not particularly deep, but it's well acted. The animation of the civilization in the icebox is really well done. And it's just a lot of fun. And that's one of the things I'm liking about Love, Death, and Robots up to this point. It doesn't have to be any one thing. It's trying lots of different things, and I appreciate that. Even when it doesn't particularly work, and nothing works all the time. But just the idea that it's not sticking to just one format is very interesting. Though I wish, as I said, that they used the live action format more because there are episodes that would really benefit from it. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Peace.